Okay, beautiful beans. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna make acorns. I got them at Dollar Tree. Color your own ornament in the craft section. And I just wanted to show you this part first before I paint it over it. Can I show you this? <laughs> Heavy gesso from Art Basics, okay? Just taking this. I'm gonna cover that hole right up. I forgot I had this when I did the apples. Okay, and if you want, you can even make it like rough, rough fish. Then, if you want, you can cut these off. Get rid of that square look. Okay. I don't like. So I'm gonna do that on all of them. I just kept one for you in case you didn't want to do this to show you what it looked like. Just cutting off. I want the rugged nature, nature look. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to hide that hole. I need more than that. I need a big clump. There we go. And then make a rugged. Like, forest look on it. Oh, I know it's going down in the hole. Oh, right. I think that hit it. It's starting to come out the other side. Right there. There we go. And I'm just putting it around here to hide that because if I don't, when you paint it, you're gonna see where I cut it. Okay? Plus, I like that rugged look. I like the rugged look. nature in some aspects are beautiful rugged and adorable all combined together and if you want to think outside the box you can do these any any color you want let's go I'll screw it let's do one all the way around that looks like. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, you can think outside the box and you can do different colors, whatever color you want. And if you wanted to, you could do one light pink, dark pink, dark purple, light purple, whatever your favorite color is. You can even do a green one, light green, dark green, whatever you want, okay? Think outside the box. Here, this one we'll just do here and here. That's not really doing anything. I just wanted to get it off the brush. But you get the idea. Think outside the box. Do what you, do you. That's what I'm saying. Do you. You don't think somebody else likes it? Who cares? Okay, beautiful beings. I got four acorns here. I took Pueblo and put it down first on every single one of them. Let it dry a little bit. I waited until it was almost not dry. Then I applied burnt lumber to this one. And I applied just a little bit of coffee bean to this one. And then just a little bit of And this one I left just plain, okay? So we'll get four different looks. Now, I'm gonna do the tops. This one, I'm gonna put burnt lumber up here. Just 
paint is so thick. So thick. We'll put burnt lumber on this one. Just on the top and the sides. Make sure you get your sides when you do your whole egg horn. I'm going to do the coffee bean to the top of this one. Got the water over here. Got my water. Dry my brush. This one is all thick. I'm doing the territorial beige. This one's watery. A little thick to watery. Uh. Okay, and the last color is brown oxide. This one is another thick one. Another thick one. Just gather your junk mail. You don't have cardboard. So you don't get it all over your table. <laughs> or if you want to clean your table, you don't have to. Okay. Okay, we got four different colors used in four different ways. When these are dry, I'll be back. Okay, hey, beautiful beings. I wanted to show you that on the stem, I put it, I wanted that rugged look, so this might take a couple hours to dry, but I put it on really thick. Okay, and then I laid it on top of something so it didn't stick to the paper. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Really, really thick on the stem. And this one, I put down my thick paint and then I covered it up because it, I wasn't getting the effect I wanted. So I put the thick paint down first and then I went along with it with the other color. Okay, I'll be back when he's all dry. Okay, I wanted to show you what the acorns look like after they're dry. We painted them. And used our gesso on them. Use texture. And I have, well, five ideas, but I'm only going to show you four of them. I'm going to use, I have this. It's just a scent thing you get from Dollar Tree. This is passion flower. You see that stuff in there? I'm gonna do this one with that. And then I have sea salt. I'm gonna do this one with sea salt. And then for the glitter lovers, I'm gonna do this one with glitter, chestnut glitter. And for this one, I'm gonna tear pine cone apart and do it with a pine cone. And then I got another idea. If you don't have any of that, you have raffia, you can cut this up in little pieces and put that on. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is start out with the passion fruit. Stuff inside the passion fruit scent thing. But I also wanted to like use this color, I think. Maybe this color. I don't know, that color or that color. Maybe that color. We'll go with, because I kind of want a texture on the glitter one. So I think I'm gonna do that color. 
we'll start out with this color. All right, but I'm gonna have to move it up because I'm gonna put it in here so the little beads don't go flying all over. And I do wanna apply the little beads first. So what I'm gonna do is put that in here because you know how the little beads like to bounce. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here to take, put some up there. And then I'm gonna put glue, glue down just a little bit here and there to catch the little beads like that. And then there you go. See, that's why I'm using this because they will go flying all over. And there's those. These are the micro beads from my collection. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back and we'll do the scents. I figured I might as well show you why I did that. Then I put them in here and then just go like that and put them back in. Can you even see that? Yeah, you can. See how they're going in the hole? It's just way easier doing it this way. Way easier. All I do is take my thumb, go like this put them in there like that hold it until you get over here put this back in here and then just let go a little bit and slowly put them in there easy peasy okay while this one is drying I'm gonna head, go ahead and do the sea salt one this is from when my daughter Kara had a baby shower this was just a little gift thing she gave out when you're going out the door. Cute little bottle. She put sea salt in it. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put some glue down. I always have a paper so you can put it back in. I just did the glue up. Again, I just want it just like a little bit up there. I'm going on the other side of our little crease we got there from the getso. Get, getso. And I'm gonna like a zigzag going down there. I'm trying not to get it on that crease. Because there's another crease. You see that? Then you can paint the sea salt. salt sea salt or just leave it plain after it dries. When I get there, I'll decide what I'm gonna do. Just take some sea salt. I don't know how loose this is. Maybe I should lower you down. There we go. Better view. Then just tap it on there like this. Everywhere you want it. Then I'd let that sit. See, and there's different colors of sea salt, too. Some are darker. But I'm gonna, and then there's clump. <laughs> I'm just gonna tap that down and let that dry. And then I will turn it over and tap any loose ones off. Now I might as well just do a, if I have a piece of junk, let me see, I need another piece of, to do the other one. i put some glue, you can use Maj Baj, any kind of glue you want. So we're just gonna let that sit. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm sorry, but there's gonna be a part two because the video's getting way too long. Okay, have a wonderful everything.